It's the Evening Bulletin. I'm Perry Michael Simon. I can't do accents other than my own. If I try to imitate someone from England or Australia or Canada, it's not even close. And that's weird in that I grew up surrounded by accents. My mom had an accent, my dad an accent, everyone around me with accents. I, I'm told I have an accent too, kind of a Jersey Philly mix, but I don't even hear it. Which brings us to a BBC story about the proliferation of failed attempts at authentic regional accents in movies and on TV, prompted by Robert Downey Jr.'s terrible Welsh accent in the Dr. Doolittle remake. They list other failures, led by the memorably awful Dick Van Dyke Cockney accent in Mary Poppins, and including Russell Crowe as Robin Hood and Don Cheadle's unfortunate stab at Cockney in the Oceans movies. Some actors are very good at accents, but when they're not, and it's your accent, you notice. If something's set in Philly and I hear someone doing an accent that's more New York than Delco, it makes me think about it for the rest of the movie. And that's why more movies are just blowing past any attempt at authenticity and having the actors just use their regular accents. The death of Stalin was a good example of how it worked. You don't even notice that they're not using Russian accents after the initial shock of hearing American and British accents. It's about the story, and it should be about the story. So, if an actor can do the accent well, they should, but if they can't, Failed authenticity just gets in the way. And I think we can all agree on one thing. Robert Downey Jr.'s Welsh accent doesn't matter because we're not going to watch Doolittle anyway. Talk to you tomorrow. Until then, that's enough.